Alright. I'm bored of this crummy old city already. I need me a good robbery. Come on, with all my Pikachu, goddammit. I'll trade this mark. Uh. Right clean. You can't be a real rocket if you ain't ne ever robbed nothing before. Let's get the show on the road. Hey, you're the infamous blank, aren't you? The rocket with the bounty on him for 129,000? Dude, rock on. Look, you must be as tired as we are of not getting to buy items from the Pokemarts anymore. I don't know about you, but we've had enough of that crap. We're robbing the Viridian City Park Pokemart, man. Are you in? Woohoo! Let's get him, boys! Follow me! I mean, I am the, uh, admin on duty. Get inside quick! We've got you covered here. We're keeping watch outside. If you hear us clucking like chickens, you better run on out. That means the cops are coming. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone down on the floor. This is robbery. If y'all would just stay cool and refrain from any rash moves, nobody has to suffer any harm. <laughs> well, nothing too bad anyway. Blank, you run up to the counter and get the goods. We'll make sure nobody tries any funny business in the meantime. What sorts of tools? Oh, Rocket, please don't kill me. I'd give you all my favorite shorts if you'd let me live. You better believe I'll have my coughing gassy right off if you try anything dodgy, little girl. Hey, we got your back, man. Go up to the counter and get us those goods now. Oh, I know I shouldn't have gone to the mart just today. What do I need these antidotes for anyway? For... poison. I, I can't believe this is happening. My manager trained me for this situation, you know. Alright, Bob. Do as they taught you. Gotta fill that fear. Reach into the emergency drawer. Get those earmarked Pokeballs and... and... Ah! I'm scared! Alright, this is the second time I've, uh, been robbing a shop, I guess. Psychic versus electric. Oh, and I hit with the confuse. Nice. Ah, snapped out of confusion. How dare you. Wait, your Raichu doesn't outspeed? Man, that's a terrible Raichu. I mean, that's supposed to be, like, the only thing it's good for. Special attack and outspeeding. Super effective. Confuse on the poison type. Oh no, it's using a dark move. Leveled up. About to use Doug Trio. I'll probably switch over to the flying type for that, yeah. Oh, Since when's a sucker punch hit on a uh, setup move? Sand attack. Are you just gonna sucker punch every single time? You only have ground type attacks other than sucker punch, don't you? One more should finish it off. Nice. Ah. You really wasted all of your sucker punches on the first couple of rounds of battle, didn't you?
Level 23. Shopkeeper Bob defeated. I wasn't prepared for this. I did not get much cash. Well, you got a lot of guts, haven't you, pal? Let's teach this guy a lesson to eradicate. Ah, please don't hurt me. Look, we don't have much in store. If I can get you some of the premium items we keep for the strongest trainers. I'll hurry the hell up then. And don't forget to empty that cash register too. Hey, Blake. Since you handle that little funny man over there, I'll let you have your share first. Take any two items you want, man. We'll sort out the rest. Alright. This is all the premiums we have, okay? Hmm. I think I'll take the Ultra Balls. Nice. And 10k. Joey, get your fat ass over here and help me with the rest. Well then, pleasure doing business with you, little sissy face. You make sure you write your manager to report so he knows just how much your emergency training helped you today, won't you? Adios. Oh, Rocket, please don't kill me. And here I always thought robberies were the kind of thing that only happened to other people. Ooh, hoo dude. Talk about a heist. I wonder what my bounty will raise to once they report that operation. Oh, the better the better, isn't that right, Blank? Well, enjoy your share of the loot, gentlemen. <laughs> Until our paths cross again. How's it going, my man? Robin and thieving like a real rocket should? Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, so I had 12.9k. So, what's my bounty now? Ah, a 10k bounty. Got it. Hmm, rep one. Hmm. Are you a trainer? Those ledges. I know of only one man who can jump up them from the other side. He keeps festering me whenever I walk beside a tree on the road. Ahem. Hello there, Rocket. I work at the Pokemon set Mart in Viridian City. And I'll have you know, our employees are specially trained to deter robberies. So don't even think about going there and snatching something you didn't pay for. It won't work. No, sir. Right. Oh, you're one of those uh, people from the city my mom told me about me. Our people. You guys are some real troublemakers, aren't ya? I never thought I'd see one of you for real. Can you commit a crime here, maybe? Oh, that would be so exciting. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's strength. Never mind. I thought I might have had surf. Dude, technology, man. It's far out. Did you hear about the information superhighway? Pretty soon we're gonna get to download and play all sorts of games straight from the minds of lonely geeks without a Game Boy. Talk about a new world, man. Greetings, young one. I've come out here to spread the word about our lord and savior Arceus. Peace be upon him. Shall I lend you my healing powers as I read his divine wisdom? Ah, the spirit of a true believer. Blessed are the damaged Pokemon, for they shall will send reckless trainers to the center for, of healing. I'll uh, change of your journey away. Trainer tips. Press start to open the menu. Huh? Why yes, this is Red's house. I'm his mother. But why? Oh, what do you want to know about him? I mean, he's a quiet boy. He always was so interested in Pokemon battle and not much else, to tell you the truth. I never had many friends at all, except for Blue, who lives next door, but I don't know how good friends those two really were. Wait, who are you to be so curious about my son? 
I don't like this very much at all. Please leave us alone. Could it be? Samus is a woman all along. Ah, dang. He already took the items. No mail. Fine. Nicely made dresser. Cramp full of Pokemon books. Posted notice. If you really want to get annoyed, press the L and R button. If you really need help, go on YouTube. <laughs> yes, how can I help you? You're dressed way too bizarre to be far out here. I'm Blue's sister, that's right. He's a nice boy and he's growing to be a strong trainer. But I don't see why it matters to you. A lovely and sweet Clefairy. Man, I am terrible at going through doors. Oh, I'll say, you've got some nerve coming here, Rocket. Professor Oak is an honest man and a respected academic. He has no business with thugs like you. Oh my. W why no? I'm afraid that Professor Oak is not here. He, he has pressing research matters to attend to elsewhere in the region. But please don't hurt me. Oh now, stop right there, Rocket. I may be a mere research aide, but I know better than to let you put your dirty fingers on the Professor's rarest Pokemon. Get off, or I'll put all the aids on you. What, in Arceus's name? A rocket in our innocent lab? What? No, goodness no. Professor Oak is not in. And I doubt very much he'd want anything to do with you if he were. All Pokemon types have strengths and weaknesses. Cram full of Pokemon books. <laughs> Fine. Email message. Finally, the ultimate trainers of the Pokemon League are ready to take on all comers. Pokemon, Professor Oak, please visit. Oh my, now isn't this a surprise? In, my, in all my visits to Pallet over the years, I never thought I'd see a fellow like yourself in a peaceful place like this. You're here for Oak, aren't you? Hmm? Oh, no. I have no intention of stopping you. We have much more in common than you probably think, Rocket. Say, it's not often to see a new face around these parts. Come in for a cup of tea if you're not too busy. Pallet is such a wasteland for interesting tea conversation. Well, your tea is excellent as always, Daisy. And the weather is so lovely. Oh, I do miss Pallet sometimes. Daisy here is my granddaughter, Blank. In fact, with her brother away on some Pokemon quest, I'm part of the only semblance of family she has left. Well, me and Professor Oak, when he bothers to show his face. A long time ago, we were a tight-knit couple, Oak and I. Samuel was a man of honor back in those days. He valued strength, vigilance, and purpose, and he embodied it. We raised a son together in the image of those principles. He turned out a great man and blessed it with two grandchildren to carry our values forward. But no sooner than Blue, their youngest had been born, the war struck our family. Daisy and Blue both survived unscathed, but our son and his wife both perished in the madness. And Samuel and I, we swore that we would avenge them. We would bring down Lance and make him pay for taking away our innocent children. <laughs> would you believe it? He swore to me. He gave me his word blank. And then, why, just a little while later, he committed the most heinous, cowardly, shameful act I ever saw. He was champion, general of the army, the most powerful man in Kanto, and he gave it up. All just to save his worthless skin. A soft, spineless fool that surrendered to Lance is not the man I loved, even if he didn't stand a chance. 
even if sticking it out, fighting for something he believed in, would have ultimately meant his death. At least it would have been an honorable one. Grandma, please! I'm sorry, Daisy, for going there again. You know how I can get sometimes. I better get going, darling. Always work to be done. Do take care of yourself and send regards to your brother. You're such lovely kids. I can't say I approve of what you and your boss are doing around Kanto, blank. But I can't say I don't sympathize with your frustration. Not quite respect, but understanding. Until we meet again. You know, I don't think Grandpa is really a bad person. He's really very cheerful and friendly, the way they show him in the papers. He gave me and Blue a happy childhood, and I'm grateful. But, you know, there's just one, this one thing that always bothered me. Jeez, there you are, Blank. What's the holdup, dude? Why, I've been looking all over for you. Sorry to interrupt a friendly tea party and all, but yo, we got a Pokemon professor to interrogate. Let's go hand it to the old man, Oak. He got me tired waiting. Oh, no! This is true? You disgusting thug! Grandpa was wrong to trust a rocket for company. Grandma was wrong to trust a rocket for company. I knew I should have never allowed it. Gee, Blank, you sure fixed yourself a feisty date, huh? Well, no time for that now. We gotta hit up his lab pronto. In all my days, you're not going anywhere! I won't let any low-life thugs trespass on our home and family. Chansey. Friggin' hell. Uh, da da Confusion. Oh, crud. Well, um... Can't wall if you can't attack and defend. I've got so many tickles you don't even know. Ah, take down as if. You might as well be using struggle at this point. Down to two and two damage. Okay, well. I only hit with one confuse anyway. Defense fell. And I think that was six, but I can't be sure. So I'll do one more just in case. Stats won't go lower. Didn't think so. Ah, you out speed? That's in tier. Or, ah, uh, what do I call it? Irritating. Coffee cat. Oh well. Wow, that uh did a lot of recoil damage. I think I'll switch to Porygon for this. The 
It's like they thought that they were going to be doing a double battle here. Oh no, bite. I'm using the signature rocket Pokemon, Porygon. It was very expensive and I ground for hours to get it. Ah, oh, man, do I have a Ponyta? Ow, okay, never mind then. is strong against fire, so regular slash. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Well, at least you're paralyzed, so- oh, friggin' hell! I was going to try and build up Fury Cutters, but Okay, well, maybe the third one will finish him off. Oh, you flinched! King's Rock coming in clutch! Ah, friggin' hell. Miss Chance, I hate it. Okay, I don't know if it actually reset or not. I haven't moved any move, used any moves other than it. Scyther should outspeed. It has quick attack. Dang it! Uh, Porygon it is. Signal. Well, that didn't do much. Quite unfortunate. Ah, friggin' quick attack. Friggin' quick attack. I'm gonna have to use a revive. I've only got one of those. They're very expensive. so I can't buy them. Whoops, that is not what I meant to use. Friggin' hell. even have. I think I'll deposit Farfetch for now. 
deposit. You. Let's see, withdraw. What do I have? Alright, if I withdraw a level 28 Marowak, that should be perfect for the Raichu. Level 26 Jigglypuff. Level 20. Do, do, do. 21, 27. 25 Arbok. Alright, I'll take the Poliwag back though. I apparently need to train up this Poliwag. Oh hey, level 20 Pidgeotto. Looks like Body Slam is a better move than Water Gun at the moment. Ah, Beedrill. I don't want to deal with poison. I suppose I could just go up and uh, go through Rock Tunnel. I have a flashlight now. It's worth trying. How dare you use Quick Attack? That's an effective move. Hmm. Level 24, nice. Route 1 has, uh, stronger Pokémon, too. Switch in Marowak. Ah, dang it. I suppose I could use I could uh, use training on Dratini as well. Did I not heal in Verdian Forest in Verdian City? Maybe I shouldn't have dropped the only Pokemon I have that knows fly. What's a level 17 Kakuna doing existing? How dare it.
So does uh, Twister do the same thing as Gust and hit Pokemon that are using Fly? Bug Bite? a manky in this grass over here. Nope, just for data. Well, there's probably one somewhere in here. Hi, Perfang, how dare you? A miss, how dare you? Alright, I'm gonna do some grinding and be back at this next time.